Total Defense is Singapore's all-round response to threats and challenges. And putting it into action will help the country get through the coronavirus crisis, just as it did during SARS. Those were the words of Defense Minister Ng Eng Hen in a message to mark Total Defense Day. As part of economic defense, he said the government will help to keep retrenchments to a minimum, if at all. Social defense includes practicing good hygiene. The other pillars of total defense are military, civil, psychological, and digital defense, which was added last year. And that was a timely and necessary addition, said Dr. Ng, as false information about the disease or messages inciting hatred against any group can cause much harm. We must never let these drums, distortions, rumors, untruths, misinformation, and smears be heard, lest they sow discord, divide our people, and ultimately weaken our will to defeat the outbreak and defend Singapore. I have every confidence that as we mark Total Defense Day, Singaporeans will again rally and win this fight against the novel coronavirus. And for more on this, we're joined by Colonel Jerrica Go, Director at Nexus Mindef, and Professor David Chan, Director of the Behavioral Sciences Institute at Singapore Management University. Well, thank you for, very much for joining us this evening. Um, Colonel, first up, the concept of total defense, how does it apply in light of the novel coronavirus outbreak in Singapore? The concept of uh, total defense uh, remains important as a whole of nation approach in dealing with uh, evolving threats. Today, we see that uh, everyone can play a part uh, in dealing with, uh, total, in dealing with uh, this uh, coronavirus uh, outbreak, in particular through the six uh, pillars of total defense, that is uh, military defense, civil, economic, social, digital and psychological defense. In social defense, what we can do is uh, we can maintain good hygiene, support each other, as well as uh, encourage, as well as appreciate our frontline professionals. In the area of uh, digital defense, we can verify the information that we receive online before we pass on to others. And uh, in the area of psychological defense, this is uh, by far, I think, the most important uh, pillar in, in times like this. We should strengthen our psychological defense so that we can remain resilient to deal with any uh, ups and downs in times like this. Dr. Ch uh, David, uh, let me talk to you now. W what is psychological defense, as uh, Colonel Jerrica just talked about just now, that it is important? How does one spread the word with regards to the current situation that we're facing? Well, I think uh, it's important to understand psychological defense actually as part of the six pillars of total defense. And by the way, total defense uh, doesn't just happen like on a particular day. Tomorrow is total defense day. And the important thing is that total defense has been with us on a daily basis, but we may not see it as clear. So I think uh, in times like this, when fear and anxiety it is uh, pretty salient uh, among everybody because of the virus outbreak, uh, it is good reminder to think about total defense and but probably particularly psychological defense. Uh, and I think why this is important is because that uh, the government has been working very hard, uh, putting in all the control and containment measures, and uh, our frontline officers are putting in very long hours in challenging times. And all those things can actually work, uh, provided, I think, if, uh, as members of public, as individuals, we also have the psychological defense that is ready. So I think the psychological defense part is critical. Uh, you ask me what does it mean, how do you spread the word. I, one simple way, I guess, to understand psychological defense is to think about it as a resource, a kind of a mental resource that actually all of us already have. You know, the kind of uh, can-do attitude, the kind of uh, uh, will-do spirit that we can actually get it done, we can overcome. And the question then is, uh, what are some of these elements that we have that can translate that into the ability to overcome a problem uh, in trying times like this? And I think there are various elements that we can think about. Well, Prof Chan, were there lessons learned from 2003 SARS and 2009 H1N1 flu epidemic that helped in today's total defense? Uh, well, I think certainly so. Uh, uh, an individual like me, I've lived through SARS, of course. Uh, you know, I have friends who are actually doctors and uh, went through. It was a very trying time for us. Uh, that was about, I guess, 17 years ago. And then H1N1 was like about probably close to uh, 10 years ago and so on. 
So many of us uh, have gone through those experiences, and so for us, although it is not new, uh, in the sense of uh, having to experience a, a, a kind of a virus outbreak, uh, but at the same time, anything that is as huge as this that in disrupt with our daily lives uh, is going to be quite an adjustment. So while there are lessons learned, I think it is important to look at it uh, uh, with a background of uh, lessons that we have overcome and of course then we can actually do it again. Having said that, uh, there are many of us who may have forgotten SARS and H1N1 and there are also the younger ones among us that uh, may not actually have experienced it because they were children uh, 10, 20 years ago. So I think it is important to uh, remind ourselves the idea of a psychological defense, uh, which really it is kind of a resource where you have the efficacy that I can overcome, having a sense of optimism that uh, things can actually get better if we work at it and so on. Colonel Jerrica, let me put a final question to you. In your, in your opinion, how can our community, uh, you know, play a, a, a a sort of more cohesive role in in coming together to to sort of have this community spirit as it were uh, as we face this uh, COVID-19 outbreak um, the community as uh, we, I see it can uh, stay calm uh, support each other as well as uh, stay united um, throughout the past weeks we have seen um, many heartwarming stories of the community coming together such as uh, students delivering food to fellow students on uh, leave of absence, uh, communities initiating efforts also to uh, show appreciation to our frontline professionals. And all this uh, collectively, I think, uh, will allow us to overcome this and keep Singapore strong. All right, Colonel Jerrica, thank you very much for that perspective. And to also to Professor David Chan, we were speaking there to Colonel Jerrica Go, Director of Nexus at MINDEF, and Professor David Chan, Director of the Behavioral Sciences Institute at the Singapore Management University.